I enjoy very much um, celebrating the Eucharist, celebrating Mass. That's why I became a priest in the first place. And the liturgy here is very beautiful, um, and it's, a, it's, a, it's wonderful to be able to celebrate it. The second um, would be hearing confessions. Um, hearing confessions, I'm able to uh, see firsthand the conversion that is happening in people's lives, to be able to help them through difficult problems that they have and to be able to bring Christ's mercy to them in a very powerful and very concrete way. In every ministry, the Dominican goes forth carrying the truth of the gospel because obedience sends him, because his apostolic zeal impels him to go. St. Joseph's province has been involved in many different ways in missionary endeavors. And one of the fundamental reasons for that is that we realize that first God has given us a tremendous gift and that gift needs to be shared with other peoples. We've done missionary work in Pakistan, Peru, in the Philippines and presently right now in Eastern Africa. To praise, to bless, to preach. Um, a turning point in, li in my life to dedicate myself completely to this way of life. When I prostrated myself before the altar uh, and throughout the whole ceremony, I had a, a profound sense of my own weakness and, and at the same time that, that God was, was calling me and clothing me in order that I would grow in his love. When Pope Honorius III confirmed the order in 1216, he stated that the Dominicans were the champions of the faith and the true lights of the world. Today, more than ever, the light of faith and hope needs to be communicated to the world through preaching, teaching, and the sacraments. The 21st century is a new frontier. And the friars of the Dominican province of St. Joseph continue to respond to the needs of the Catholic Church in the United States and around the world. I am so happy with the life that I've chosen and what God has shown me in the course of this experience. We're not intellectuals for the sake of being intellectuals. We're not people who are purely pastoral with, without any kind of reflection or, or, or serious work. Dominic founded his order to be rooted in the universities and dispersed throughout the world. As Dominicans and as religious, we are saying, God, do with us as you will because you have provided for us that you, God, who is with us always, Emmanuel, have now given us the gift of yourself. And we in turn are now called to let you do what you want with us. God does tremendous things with us if indeed we can say, let it be done unto me as you will. At the heart of our mission is to move the hearts of people so that they, it can be, the heart can be synchronized with the heart of Jesus Christ.